This is MEDI, which stands for Medicine and Engineering Designing Intelligence. The highly interactive childlike robot has the potential to comfort young patients during medical procedures and make their pain more tolerable. Research suggests that 50% of children have severe anxiety and fear when it comes to needles. And so we know that uh, negative feelings about medical procedures in childhood might linger well into adulthood. Um, we know that these children, as adults, are unlikely to access health care services when they're experiencing health problems. So we wanted to look for an innovative, different kind of a way to see if we can better distract children during medical procedures like flu vaccination. This past winter, 57 children between the ages of 4 and 9 were able to interact with the robot while receiving their seasonal influenza vaccination at Alberta Children's Hospital. These children reported they experienced little to no pain when compared to youngsters who looked at images on the clinic's wall during their vaccination. So the idea was to use the robot to distract the children and to see what kind of impact it had. And it had a significant impact in reducing the anxiety that not only the children reported, but what their parents, the nurses and the investigators themselves observed during the vaccination procedure. The experience with the robot was good. Uh, we had, had previously had some vaccinations that uh, weren't so great that Jacob was a little bit anxious and so having the opportunity to interact with Medi and uh, really have a very stress-free vaccination uh, was was fantastic. Uh, Jacob barely noticed that there was a vaccination involved mostly he just noticed Medi. This was one of the first comments that nurses started to make is to realize how recovery had seemed to be quite a bit improved as a result of, of talking to the robot, listening to the robot, giving a high five to the robot um, and we also found that not only did they experience significantly lower levels of distress, but they coped better overall. Medi was purchased by the University of Calgary's Schulich School of Engineering from Aldebaran Robotics, a French startup company headquartered in Paris. It's a little human robot. It has uh, moves in different ways. It can walk or run, hold hands, uh, grab objects, uh, uh, point at things. Uh, it can also, in terms of programming and characteristics, it can uh, recognize uh, faces, images, it can recognize voice, it can understand patterns and concepts uh, uh, put in the wall. So that's a way in which the robot can communicate. The robot basically, what he was doing, he was uh, recognizing what the kid was uh, undergoing based on image recognition. He was saying, oh, the kid is starting to cry. I should perform this activity. And he will actually start communicating with the, with the kid. The majority of children in our study thought that the robot was capable of feelings, of uh, anxiety, of embarrassment, um, of sadness and happiness. And so I thought, well, if children are that engaged with um, and in tune with uh, or interested in a robot, then perhaps there could be some applications in uh, healthcare that perhaps we can use it to help children with difficult kinds of things, um, uncomfortable, painful kinds of medical procedures, um, and to see if that could reduce their levels of distress and help make the, the, the nurses and the doctor's jobs a bit easier by having a, a, a patient who is um, not experiencing quite as much distress during the procedure. Uh, we have hopes that uh, based on the previous results that we have obtained, that is going to be a really positive influence for the kids and, uh, and help them uh, hopefully as they grow and be adults, not be afraid of uh, coming to hospitals and undergoing different medical procedures. This is the first study that used a robot to interact with people during a painful medical procedure. And uh, it was first done here at this hospital, at the Alberta Children's Hospital, and we're keen to try it with different types of medical procedures like blood draws and IV starts to see if it can be as effective in those kinds of situations as well.